What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tippa TV. This is Marianne and Atya. I have with me... What's up? Uh, Danielle! <laughs> from Spirits R Us. And I got... Josh back there holding onto a dog. We are about to head into an old abandoned mine. We're calling it the to Tommyknocker Mine because... There's an awesome story <laughs> in there about Tommyknockers. We'll tell you about that in a little bit. It's crazy out here. We've got activity already started. Well, we were setting up, we were hearing stuff, we were seeing stuff. It's gonna get real. Let's do this. Josh here again with our amazing scout. As Marianne just told you, we are going into this mine that she told us about. And to get up here, it was already a little bit sketchy because the road was pretty much grown over with weeds and stuff like that. So we actually passed the road a couple of times before we found it. Driving up the Rocky Mountain, bouncing and swinging everywhere. So uh, Scout actually did pretty good and didn't get sick on us, thank God. But uh, while we were getting everything ready, Danielle hopped out of the Jeep and she was already filling stuff at the entrance of this thing. So, you know, it's already kind of presenting itself in certain ways. Now, we were told that there are rabbits and mice in here so I'm going to keep Scout on the leash to make sure he doesn't just bolt on me. And uh, also possibly a hole. There might be a hole, yeah. There might be a hole that he could possibly fall down. So I'm going to keep the leash on him. And uh, I'm too excited to talk anymore, so let's go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> It's a matter of time, dark skies and howling winds. The sun is coming, gone. Wood stands will surely fall. Chaos is coming. Chaos is coming down. There it is. Now there are also going to be. Well, potentially there have been snakes known to like hide in here, especially as the weather's getting hotter. Lots of bats. And lots of bats. We've seen them die. In fact, she had oh, one dive on her head as soon as she got out of the car. So oh, we're going to be insane. turning this around so I don't fall. Here we go. Whoa. Yep. Just like that. You guys do got a knife or something? Um, yes, I have one in my pocket. I got one. Oh, oh, oh. Go over it. So I just whacked my head. That's how low it is. I stand up, it's only like right there. So. Oh, yeah. See that? Check that out, guys. Whoa! Someone was camping here. <laughs> oh, there you go. You got the, the old rails. Oh, is anyone home? Did you find a mice? A mouse? No. Oh. <laughs> Looks like a little bird's nest, but. That's weird. Wow, that looks like somebody made like a weird altar in there. See that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mice and rats and all sorts of weirdness. Oh. Wow, this place is so crazy. Okay, keep in mind too, Scout's never been in an environment like this before. This is his first time going into anything even remotely like this. So, he's doing really well so far, but I'm trying to make sure he doesn't cut his feet up as well, because there's a lot of sharp rocks. Oh. Wow. I don't know where, but usually we see it all over the See what? Walls, that, um, that rock crystal stuff. Oh. Maybe a little further in. Oh, look, there's an old nail. Sticking right out here. Mm -hmm. This looks very, um, All right, fragile. Here, like it does, whoa, here. that's very comforting. Uh, yeah. That's like super comforting right there. <laughs> it looks neat too. Oh, dear lord. Oh, okay. so it looks like it's been filled up a little bit. Holy shit. Probably wouldn't let him down there. Oh, is that the oil you're talking about? Yeah, but it's... 
So did it used to go further than that? Because it looks like they have a ladder buried in there. Yeah. Weird. Does that go back anywhere? No, that's how it goes too. Why would they do that? No, no. Maybe they started like, and then just didn't, and then figure there's nothing there. Maybe I don't know. It just goes back a little bit further. This is crazy, guys. This is this is crazy. I, I didn't realize it went back this far already. Oh, yep. Don't stand up. Um, Don't okay? stand up all the way. Don't stand up all the way. I'm short, and I still whacked my head. Don't stand up all the way. You all right? right? Yeah. These right guys, there. look Look at how jagged sharp. these are. See that? That's what you whack your head on. It looks like you have a tremor, and that thing's going to kill you. Oh. Oh. It's a sketch in here, man. It's so um, delicate. Bunny. There's a bunny? Yeah. Oh, there's a bunny. Hi, sweetie is bunny. Is there more than one bunny? What's that behind there? I don't know. He looks all freaked out. Poor old dude. Maybe it could be like a little mess or something. Oh, yeah, it stinks right here. Like, there we are, it does. Stink. <clears throat> Ew. I wasn't smelling until you said that. Hi. How far do you think I can get before he starts running out? I guess you're gonna find out. Alright, let's find out. Maybe. I got my knife. Whack! Rabbit stew. Hi. Yeah. It's like it's so bright. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Uh, no. Yeah, all right, I'll leave you alone. Bye. And so we're kind of splits there that would be kind of fit better. Yeah. Do you know what? These might be, these are like little, I think these are rabbit ones. See the hair in there? Because that's what rabbits will do. They'll, they'll take their, their fur off, right? Yeah. Go, go. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I don't know if I caught that on the camera, but it sounded just like a footstep oh, right behind me. Ow! Ah, damn. You hit your head too? Oh, hard. Oh, no. Is it bad? On that big pointy one right here? I did that on my own too. We need hard hats in here. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like that. it's barely hanging on though. That's what freaks me out. Like oh, one yeah. wrong move and it's like. <gasps> <laughs> this is sketch me go. I'm glad I brought the Tylenol for Big Daddy's head today. Yeah, my head got hard too. Yeah, you did. Do you want me to look at it? No. I'll look at it later. <clears throat> Go. Relax. Don't be knocking that down, because if you knock that twig down, that whole thing's falling. That looks like a new, new piece of wood, too. Yeah. You can it might see be a new piece of wood, up. but they have kind of been there before. Well, you see it cracking underneath. That's kind of scary. <laughs> Should I go, go put this back a little bit further so we can hear if anything's coming at us? Uh, oh, is it a toy belt? Yeah, yeah. You good? Oh, yeah. You good? I'm coming. What? Really? Yep. You see him? Holy crap! That ain't no mouse, that's like a rat. rat. Yeah, that's a rat. Oh my gosh, this guy's so big. Can you get him on camera? I'm trying to. I don't know where he went. Right there by the mattress. Oh, yeah, it's probably too far away. I'm not worried he's gonna set this stuff off. Yeah. I'll try anywhere he is. 
Well, I can always... Oh, there goes oh. a bat! There goes a bat! <laughs> it's huge. Yes, it was freaking huge! That's, that's like a, a New York rat. Okay, so while they're over there looking at rats and, and bats, this uh, tunnel, if you look at it, mm -hmm. is a lot different than like just dirt. If you could imagine trying to put this together, you're digging through pretty much solid rock. And uh, a lot of Utah is covered in what they call shell rock. And so it's actually pretty brittle. It falls apart pretty easily. And it can be very sharp. So being here would be a little bit interesting trying to dig this out. Ooh, I'm so excited. Yeah, it stinks, doesn't it? That's oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, so if I'm going to do the next assignment, I'm going to need a hand with your dog. Oh, okay. And I'm trying to keep them away from you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That works. Oh, yeah, it does. Is it? Am I keeping this stuff? Not for the email. Oh. Well, that sounds like another room pod. That's for sure. I turned it away that we can see the entry. Okay, I'm going to turn off my camera so I don't know if this will play my little work off here for now. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled and tell us if you see any shadows in the background or if you hear anything that, that we didn't catch. Because oftentimes, you guys are the ones that point it out to us and we miss it. So, this is definitely one of those places where energy gets sucked into the rocks and it holds on to it. This is a lot of history here. You can feel the energy. You can feel it. Yeah, you can feel the energy. And there's a reason why they call it the Tommy Knocker Mine, right? Sit. Stay. He's like, I can't sit here, guys. I'm sliding down. I yeah, know. Ready? All right, here we go. Oh, shoot. Did you feel that? The vibration. Oh, my gosh. Dude, it's... Oh, wow. It, like, it, it started at my legs and just... Whoosh. And you saw it right in front of the yeah. Oh my gosh! That was intense. Is it bad luck to mention the Tommy Knockers? <gasps> it said Tommy Knocker. As long as your clock camera's close enough, you know. I hope it caught that. Do you want to try my spot so that you're closer? Yeah. So you can pick it I up? think it'll catch it. Come on. Breath. Did you suffocate down here? Maybe. Maybe. Oh. We need help. Dog. Dog? I thought I heard Josh. That's what it sounded oh. like, yeah. Do you have something you want to say to Josh? Arthur. Arthur? <laughs> I probably got blood up in the top of my head, don't I? <laughs> Gosh, probably. Is my head bleeding up here? I keep hearing a child's voice. Is there children here? Sylvia. That's kind of like an older. Mm -hmm. Tell the dog to calm down. Calm. Oh shit! Calm. You said calm down. <laughs> His name is Scout. Can you address him as Scout? Sorry. 
Whoa. Can you call him Scout? Huh? Are you able to show yourself to the dog? Will you show yourself to the dog right now? Sure. Can you can you touch him on the head so he reacts? Oh. He's friendly. Can you make a noise that Scout can hear? Sure. Again. And then he looks down yeah, and he looks that way. Yep. Can you make that noise again so it looked down that way? No. no. Can you put your shirt right here? No. He's, he's crazy in here. Something, yeah. Something's up on him. Are you making him go crazy? Are you making him nervous? Oh, wow. That's why they're saying Did it you too. Did you touch him? Touch. touch. Oh, okay. That's why They were touching nervous. the dog. That's why he's like freaking out. That's why he's getting nervous. He's relaxed. Oh, that's you. Is it me? Is it my stuff? Like, oh, it should be going still. It's the temperature would just went up by like two degrees right now. If that was you, can you touch that again? Yes. So I'm wondering if when I asked it to touch him, that's why I started getting really worried or really anxious. Riled up, yeah. One. Yeah. We're, we're still training right now, so I probably shouldn't have asked that question, but we got a response for it. So mm -hmm. we'll try to do some other non touching interaction. Maybe if you can walk in front of him, show yourself to him. Oh, he looked right, right behind me. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. <coughs> You see something? Can you show yourself to him? Why is there children coming through? How old are you? It seemed like it said 800. <laughs> I couldn't hear it though. Uh, Seth. Did I tell what to say? Can you whistle? Yeah. Like I was trying to. <laughs> Do you want me to take the dog out of here? That was a combination. I need to hear a clear concern. Yeah. No answer. Mm. Yes, no. No. Did you hear that? No. Yes, no. Right after, yeah. That doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the matter with her. Talk okay. to him. Cool. Not through the box, but talk to him just by yourself. Ah. See if you can get him to, to sit Breathe. down. Sit. Wow, well, he is amped up. That's so crazy. Well, this is also a different environment. Mm -hmm. He's smelling all kinds of new smells. That's true. Right before he laid down, he sat down. down. Can you say, can you say his... Can you say his name? His name's Scout. <laughs> Do you like dogs? Yeah, you can tell he's so uptight. I just saw something behind you. Mm -hmm. Bye.
Would you would you rather interact with the dog? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well try not to stress him out, okay? He's new to this. I think I'm, I might leave you guys in here and take yeah, him out. Yeah, he's freaking out. Yeah, I think this is a little bit too much for him. Yeah. He's like, take me, Daddy, take me, take me. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> okay. I'll take my, uh, well, I'll just leave everything there. Okay. Then you guys just go as long as you want, and I'll take him out. And we'll, we'll, we'll avoid your music box. Okay, don't hit the head, yo. Oh, hey. Well, oh, no, oh, that's that one again. Oh. Is it us though? I don't know. Oh my gosh, it just went up in degrees by another by another two degrees already. Do it again for us now, please. Oh my gosh, three degrees. It's it's still climbing. See that's weird because I'm getting like really cold Because at first when I came over here it was like a fifty it was a fifty-six? And it it went up to 59. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's see, now it's back yeah. to 59. This is Wow. 59.3, it's climbing. Saying the numbers, too. Are you making it warmer right there? It's almost, it's almost 60 degrees. My ears just went really weird. Usually that's what happens when I start hearing stuff. Like ringing or clogging, like what? I, this one's actually a little bit different, but normally, normally I'll have like a little ringing in there before I start hearing it. This one's just different. This one was more like pressure. Oh, okay. It just hit pressure, so usually stuff's about to happen. I hope so. Right? Did you hear that? I hope so. <laughs> I said, hope so. What do you think? What do you think of the bunny rabbit in here? Eat it. I was wondering if that was what they were going to say. I was just waiting for that because I had made that comment about rabbit stew. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That's a pretty interesting thing that just happened. That's true. Okay, I got to tell you all this too because this is pretty whack, right? So, I'm vouching for her. Yes. She's my witness. Yes. <laughs> All right, so a couple nights back, um, you know, I have these dreams sometimes um, where people that have passed will come and talk to me and they'll tell me their stories and stuff like that. And sometimes I wake up and they're still there and we still, you know, carry on a conversation. That's kind of voices. Did you hear that? Voices? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's why I stopped. I heard yeah, it. I didn't want to interrupt you. No, I heard it too. We're pretty far back, so it shouldn't be Josh. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to finish this work. Um, so, first time this has ever happened, though, <laughs> I was asleep, and I know I was dreaming about something completely different, because at some point, <laughs> I had this big, beautiful brown horse stuck his face like, like it was checking me out. Like, you know how horses do? They'll just like, they're just really curious and stuff, right? It stuck his face right in mine. And I'm like, whoa! And I wake up and he's still right there in my face for probably a good, like, two minutes. And I'm freaking out. And Josh is like, what? You know? Um, first time a horse has ever appeared. But um, I thought that was really weird. So I made a mental note, right? Okay. It's weird. And so we get up here and we set up camp. And y'all... There is a she, what was sheep it, a sheep herder out here. They're grazing and they're like, they're putting them all back into their pen or whatever like that. And it doesn't clue into me for just a second, but there's a guy on the same freaking horse, like same color, beautiful same beautiful, well taken care of. Like I, I saw this. I don't know if horses really can astral project, but I'm telling you that one can because I swear it was the same damn horse. It had to have been some it, kind of a message or something. 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 So I mean, we're supposed to be here tonight. I don't know. Right. Something weird about it. There was because that was the same damn horse. I know it was. I know it was. And I'm like, holy shit. So. I'm getting goosebumps up my legs even just talking about yes. it. It's so weird. Yeah. And uh, so 
things are gonna get real. There's kind of like a hissy, hiss kind of a noise. And no, there's no snake spiders. Are you still hearing it? No. <gasps> that was weird. That almost sounded like it. That almost sounded like something dropped down a well. Like, the bloop. But oh, there's really? no water here. Well, at least there isn't now. I don't know if there was at one time down there before they blocked that in, but. Oh my God, I'm just getting like, because it was pretty warm in here. And mm -hmm. now it's just starting to get... Whoa. Wait, what? What? Um, girl, what? this is at 91. No way. Yes. That's wrong. It's dropping now, but it says ni it said 91. That went from 50 to 90. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know. That's that's not that temperature. <laughs> yeah, there's like no way. 109? Are you serious, dude? Look at that. 109. Oh, you probably can't see that. Just trust me, it says 109. She hears like that running or something? No, it's probably too maybe. But it just dropped to 88 like right now. No, it's just starting to feel even more weird in here. I feel like I'm making so much noise. That's the one dang thing that's hard about caves. Oh, is that, rocks and... yeah, is every little tiny sound you make, it's just like 10 times louder. <laughs> yeah, that does make it Which kind of helps if you're super quiet because you can hear it amplifies everything, but it also amplifies you too. Can you make a noise of where you're at? If you don't want to touch the equipment, that's fine. But maybe can you throw a rock or something? Not at us, please. Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say. We had enough rocks to the head. Behind you. Yeah, it was. Right behind me. I have to have like like Closed yes. In on. You too? Yes. Yeah? Yes, I feel that. And it feels like I keep hearing move. Like, it sounds like movement back there. Like, yeah. it's so quiet. But, whoa. What? Tell me you heard that. Uh-uh. What did you hear? I don't even know, but it was like. It, I'm having a hard time explaining it because it sounded like a cross between a little kid going, eh, or an animal going, eh. But it's not the bunny, because that's not making No, it. bunnies don't make... They don't make that sound. Noises. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> I know. Well, I'm just clarifying, because we know there's an animal in here. That's all. But... Yeah, I don't see it making that kind of a noise. That's weird. I want to know why there's kids in here. Ooh. I just got the most wicked pressure in my head. And I'm feeling it right there, too. As if there was like an accident with a rock, rock falling on you type kind of thing? I don't know. What? I don't know. Um, maybe, because I almost feel like here is just, maybe it's crushed. I don't know. Or strangulation. Mm -hmm. Or I, I don't know. I just feel like, I just feel pressure. Mm hmm and it's like oh, right here, right there too. It's just when you said string on it, kind of. I don't know why. Like I just got this vibe of like I don't know if a guy brought a girl up here. I know that's kind of what I was thinking. To her. I don't know why I'm getting that kind of a vibe, but that's what I've been kind of feeling in here. I am nauseous, like queasy. Not, not like. Not like I'm gonna throw up, but I just feel like. Right, yeah. You know, like, okay, you know that feeling when you get in the pit of your stomach 
when you know it's like adrenaline mm -hmm. and it's fear at the same time and it's just like holy f I screwed up or holy f this is a mistake holy f I can't get out of it something like that mm -hmm. that's the kind of like that pit of your stomach where you're like oh my gosh I'm screwed I'm so Ooh, did you feel that breeze no but I, right when you did that I heard like a shuffling movement over there Ooh, it just got wicked cold. I did move cold. my feet, but down there I heard it. No, like I'm still feeling it. Like there's a breeze coming through. It is, oh, it is getting a lot cold. Oh, yeah. That's at 66 degrees, yo. 66. 66. No, 666. No, 65 <laughs> now. What is going on? I feel like you're wanting to talk a little bit more to us now. At least letting us know that you're here. Now I got that ringing in the ear. Pay attention, they're trying to talk to you. <gasps> oh, shit. What? Oh, rat. Scared me. <laughs> Don't do that. Sorry. So you can give me a heart attack. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye and it freaked me out. So back when I was standing out in front of the car, mm -hmm. remember how I was telling you that it seemed like there was like this big black mass? Uh -huh. And it was getting bigger and bigger and closer. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to come sit with you guys. Yeah. I just got it. It started small and then it started getting bigger and bigger. You trying to come talk to us? Who are you? There's that pressure again and I feel dizzy. I could just... Oh. Did you hear that thud? No. It was like a, right there. Two thuds. It sounded like above us, but in this direction. Can you do that again? Right behind me. Oh, sorry, that was me. <gasps> loud. You Did you hear that one? That one was a knock. I didn't hear the knock because I was just getting ready to talk. Shit, I hope it's okay. not the Tommy knockers. Yo, dude. I'm going to blast you with here. my light. Get out of here. What if that sound to do with the Tommy knockers? Shit. I heard two. You heard one. That's true. Does it come in through? It's like. Oh, it's damn. Maybe. We're going to have to look that up. Okay, if you are a Tommy knocker, <laughs> I don't know how I'm asking this. <laughs> don't do this at home. <sighs> if you're a Tommy knocker, I don't know if you should have. I know. I'm that like, might uh, mean we're not getting out of here. <laughs> uh, okay, do it. We go to the fear. <laughs> <sighs> we entertain for you guys. If we die, it's all for you. <laughs> yes. This is going to be found footage, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I heard it too. Did you throw a rock? You did hear that? Yes, I did. I don't know if the camera caught it because I was being loud, but... We're gonna die. Stupid tommy knockers. Don't say that! <laughs> okay. Goonies never say die! <laughs> Okay, adventure time. Let's do it. Ask the question. Okay. All right. If, <laughs> if, if you are what's referred to as a Tommy knocker, can you please make another knocking sound? Vibration come from the ground? I feel I can feel it on my back. Oh, and it, it kind of sounds like they're like hitting with a. No, it doesn't. Shit. 
I can feel, I felt that like, I felt that like on my neck, like on the back of my neck. Yeah? I don't know if I should be sitting because then I can't get out of here fast enough. Yeah, and you're trapping me too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hear it back there. I'm hearing the thing. Oh, what? it's a mouse. That's what I'm hearing. Oh my gosh. But it didn't, it sounded bigger than that though. That mouse doesn't make much noise when it runs. I didn't hear it making noise. It sounded like footsteps to me, and I, I don't know. God, you know, I'm starting to get that pressure in the back, like in the back yes. of my head. Yes, that's exactly what it was like. My left ear feels like lots of pressure. Like, it, like it's almost starting to be uncomfortable. Do you want to step out or anything? Nah, I'm just observing. I'm gonna change my matter here. I can even sit like- Okay, be right back with you. If you want to sit right there, and you can see. Like, I am on, like, no battery left, but I swear I'm hearing shit back here. I heard, I heard movement, like, in the rocks I think I was walking. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna ask one last thing. If you would, please, before I change my battery... We're gonna hold super, super still. I can't be still. So <laughs> She's gonna sit super, super still. <laughs> and I'm gonna ask that you run as fast as you can through this tunnel so we can hear you. Okay, ready? I heard that. Holy frick, I got the chills. Did you hear that? It's just like a quick one, like yeah, a just whoosh. Hey, you okay? You just, just really want to get up here. One. You just really want to get up here bad. All right. You, you shall pass. Little beady eyes. You shall pass. Goodbye. Toodles. He's so cute. Bye bye. Go tell the ghosties to be noisy for us. He said to run all the way through here, so he's, he's running. <laughs> Maybe that's a shapeshifter. Oh, gosh. I'm just saying. Because be. while we're asking for activity and I'm telling this little mouse to go the hell away, yeah. maybe it's like, I'm doing what you're telling me to. Yeah. You never know. Okay, I'm going to change my battery real quick. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. It just appeared. I'm gonna all see. right. Now, of course, again, as soon as I turn my camera off, the battery is still almost dead. But the second I turn it off to change a battery, guess what? There's a mouse that just booked it way back out of here. And I think it's the same freaking one. Just to come in, just to go out. I don't know. What? We're gonna find out if it's the same one. Like, I don't understand why he would force his way in so badly just to turn around and run out. Yes! Oh, he was. <gasps> Holy crap. Oh, yeah. No, legit. I just heard something bang against the wall right here. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Ah! Oh, that! Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. That was not what bang was banging against the wall, though. I can guarantee. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, it flew right past us. Probably gonna have to let it get low. It's probably trying to get back there. That's where they go, it's back all the way to the bottom. Ugh, that's probably why it stinks so bad back there. <sighs> One of these days I will change this battery. <laughs> Every time I turn this freaking thing off. Can you make it go backwards? Let's get you on the film. Nope. Frick. Can you do it again? Please! Is the light too bright? Here, I'll turn it down. I'll turn it. I'll turn it so you can shine really, really bright. Look, watch. Boink! Okay. Now will you turn it on for me, please? That was super epic. They're like, put the cameras away and then I will. No kidding! Uh -huh. uh. 
It's about to die anyway. All right, here we go. For real this time. We'll just have to tell you about it later, I guess. Okay, so I just came out to check on Josh and the dog, make sure that they were cool. And they're doing just fine. Wanted to see if he wanted to trade me some spot, trade me spots in here, but I think he's gonna stay out with the dog and just kind of monitor because the dog is still picking up on things. But we just want him to not freak out at the same time. So let's go check on Danielle because I left her in the I left her in the tunnel all by herself. Mm. Motherfucker! As soon as I passed that music box, I heard a voice right behind my ear. Oh, scared the crap out of me. Okay, let's go check on Danielle. Ooh, you gonna go check on her too? All right, let's go. I got my little trail buddy with me. Come on, little buddy. He's like, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Me. <laughs> I almost took off because I was hearing that freaking knocking again. Don't come in my bag. That's out. Jeez. All right. Yeah, so I was close to taking off because I was hearing that knocking again. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to do this by myself. What's going on, everybody? Uh, Josh and Scout here in the Jeep. Um, brought him back out because we were inside that tunnel and he was just getting a little too stir crazy. So the girls are in there doing their session. The weird thing is, is that the whole time I've been sitting here, now it's starting to get nervous again. Sit. Um, the, the whole time we've been sitting here, everything's been calm. He's been pretty much chill, just listening. But he kept looking straight ahead. And I don't know how well you'll see this, but I'll try to show you what it looks like. So just a bunch of trees and stuff. And I believe it's a little bit of a hill, too. He keeps staring that way, like he's hearing something or picking up on something. Um, but... I don't see nothing. I don't hear anything. Marianne came out and checked on us for a minute just to make sure we're doing all right and said, yeah, we're doing fine. I don't really want to take Scout back in there right now because it was getting a little too much for him. Um, I think Scout's partially amped up because Marianne came out. And a couple of the weird things that have been happening while we've been sitting here. So I've kept the ignition off. Everybody, everything stayed off. But, um, apparently Marianne was telling me some of the stuff. Scout, relax. Relax. Might be because I'm talking too, so. You could tell his hearing things. Jessup. Jessup. Was there a Jessup here? Yes. 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 <laughs> men. It was like she was scared of men. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. you hear that? Dude, and there's that pressure in my brain again. Like there's a pressure right here again. Oh my god. I heard that. Girl, there is something wrong. She's like, finally, I want yeah, to go, I wanna home. go home. And then she's like, men. Okay. Can you say my name? Dude. Dude. Yes, can you say my name? I need to know if we're actually talking to someone. It said my oh. name. It did. Now I'm just registering that. Um, 
But another weird thing that's been happening is every once in a while it seems like somebody's jumping on the back bumper of the Jeep. I'll feel it rock or shake a little bit. The wind isn't blowing, so it's not wind hitting the Jeep. It's not him moving around, but it feels like somebody or something is bumping on the Jeep to say, Hey, you're not alone. I think it's picking up on something. <laughs> What I mean by you keep staring straight ahead of us, there's nothing up, up there. There ain't nobody around. I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere. There's no cars driving by, there's no nothing. So, maybe I'll take him out and let him walk around a little bit. Now, one thing I do know, though, for a fact, is there's mice running around. But that wouldn't trigger the... Alright, I gotta take him out and walk him around a little bit and see if that helps him, so... I'll try to bring you along with me, but I can't guarantee it's gonna be... good footage, so... Okay. Did you hear that again? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna start crying here in a second. I just got wicked chills. Yeah. Like all, ooh, like all up and down my my whole body. Just, ooh, I got chills. It, it's getting really cold. Mm -hmm, it What are you doing? This REM pod is going off like crazy. Yeah. Walk away. We're just coming a little closer. Hey. You can cover that light if you want, if it's One. not capturing. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Hey. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to turn that so you can hear it. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen it do that? Not like this. It's like it's on certain rhythm. It's like a freaking pulse. And it was right after we both got wicked chills and it got freezing in here. Uh, yep. <gasps> what? what is it doing? I don't know. Oh shit, your camera just is not working. Are you serious? What in the hell? Look at this. Oh my gosh! What the heck? All right, stop running around in circles. Wow. 
Ow, 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 my head, my head, my head, my head. Do you need to get out? Do you need to get out for a second? Mm-mm. Nope, just... Wow, freaking crap, that hurts. Oh, is it still going? Yeah, but it's getting better. I wonder if he picks up on something dangerous for mom, for Marianne. Maybe we should go see. Ah. He doesn't usually pull like this. Something is different. Do you need help? Oh, frick. No, that's all right. Just give me a second. Wow, it's like, I just, it's, I feel like I got hit in the head with a baseball bat, but not externally. It just, like, went through my head. That's what it felt like. It felt yeah. like it just went whack right through my head. <gasps> Was someone whacked here in the head? I don't know. I felt like I got whacked in the freaking head. Like, bad, it hurt. Like, I can still feel the, oh, that scared me. I can still feel the pressure, but, okay, I'm going to ask if anyone was whacked in the head here, because oh this is dangerous this, spot. Yeah. This whole place is a dangerous spot. Was anyone hit in the head here? Because it really feels like it came from the front back. No. Okay, was somebody hit in the head here? Was it out of rage or was it on accident? No. <coughs> Person. Are they coming up behind us? No. I stuck in the scout. Freaking crap. Oh. It sounded like running something. It like, did. It's all crap. Did. Like I thought I was gonna have to start running there. Right, pull out your knife. Why couldn't you have been a ghost? That was a scary moment. <laughs> yeah, has been obsessing to come in. Like I have not seen him. He's pulling harder than ever. Is he worried? I don't know if he's Maybe. worried or if he's well, picking up on something. Because he, he he he's acting differently than he ever acts. Yeah, he's going crazy. I can tell. You can tell he's sensing stuff. And I don't think that's just animal stuff. You want to go check on mom? Okay, go check on mom. Here, I'll shut the light on you. Oh, damn, Mel. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. I don't want him to get too crazy, but I want him to know you're okay. Is there something down there? Okay. You happy? Okay? Mom's okay? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take you out now, okay? Well, I'm gonna try to get him back just out. Got wicked cold too. He was obsessed with getting in here. Yeah. And, I mean, it, it's beyond the scope of how he normally does. Yeah. Yeah, he's 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 picking up on stuff in here. You can tell. Cause he's yeah. still looking past us. Yeah. You want mom to leave? Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> yes. Go. Time for mom to go. Huh? Hey, time for mom to go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> tell all right. Tell her. Say, mom, go. Speak. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, there's the bat oh. right there. Oh, little guy. There's another one right in the center down here by the mattress. Oh, look at his little teeth. <laughs> I used to love bats, but then my son, at three months old, he got bit by a bat. 
No. Oh, and daylight. Oh, not good. Yeah, it, um, I have them sitting on my lap and he started screaming. Shit. And I turned him around and the bat was crawling inside Ooh. his mouth. No, 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 no. Biting him on the gums and Ooh, shit. no, no, no. I'm just hang in there. Hello, little vampire bat. Yeah. Oh, crap. Ugh, shit. Did he fly? Nope. But it disturbed him a little bit. Ah, oh, shit. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I don't know. Just walk, walk. Ah, I don't know where he went. <laughs> I hope he's not on my back. I don't know. He's not on me, right? Fuck. Where is he? I don't know. Okay. Nope, I don't see him on you. Does it okay. on me? No. All right, I didn't feel anything, but you never know. Well, anyway, well, so yeah, it was pawn sized mouse saw his dad, grabbed it, and then he threw it on the ground and stomped on it. Yeah, I would. So we ended up wrapping it up and took my son and the bat to the hospital. For rabies testing, because yep. that's sketch. Which his dad, he's like, oh, he's fine. He's no, 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 no. Yeah. No. Like, no we They're notorious for rabies. Yep. So we get the bat tested and stage four rabies that all three of us had to get the all three of you shots and shit yeah, i've heard those he, are not cool it is a thick ass needle is it yeah especially for a little three month old oh my gosh but yeah, it was a i heard that it was like the worst thing yeah and so um yeah. the doctor was talking to us about it and they're like yeah. you only have like 24 hours or something like that or two days and if you don't do nothing about it then they're done yeah, so if we would have listened to Martin, his dad. He'd be like, yeah, you're fine. My son would be dead. All of you all of you would have been proud. Well, why did they have you guys do it? Cause... Well, he grabbed the bat, your yeah. hands, you know. So. Oh, yeah. And then I was holding on saliva and all that oh. kind of stuff. But So mine was just to, to be safe. Shit. But It's painful, huh? Yeah, it's a thick needle. And I, needles don't bug me, but it's a thick-ass needle. Shit. So, Can they yeah, put, do you, they put it on your arm? Uh, I can't remember his thigh or belly. Ugh, belly is what remember. I thought I heard, but. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for us tonight for the Tommy Knocker mine. Woo! We had some crazy stuff happen in there. I hope you heard what we heard. I hope you saw what we saw. And our poor little dog is just, this is the weirdest location that we have been to. He's never been this amped up or whiny. He's stressing out, so it's very, very active. Um, I'm going to go comfort poor little pup. And uh, thanks for coming along with us on this journey. Thanks to Danielle from Spirits of Us for coming with us on this journey. <laughs> thanks to Josh <laughs> for Big Daddy Jay, Big Daddy Jay for um, monitoring the dog. So, all right. We we'll love you. Peace out.